Alrighty guys, so you really seem to like the video on reserve where I went around and showed you guys all of the different looting areas for that. Uh, so today we're making a follow-up video on interchange. Now interchange, you can still make an absolute ass load of money on this. Mainly uh, if you're going to be rocking something like a gamma container, you don't actually need to get out of these. So a lot of people can, uh, in the sort of period of a, you know, an hour, can make a lot more than I did here. But just by uh, by sort of personal preference, I actually like to continue these raids out, particularly if you take a pistol and kill some scabs, get some gear, and uh, it's a lot more fun to actually loot and run like this. Alright team, so just quickly to run through the loot run, I'm going to show you guys all of these spawns afterwards, but the stores are hitting uh, tech, so upstairs, all the way up here is tech light, so you're just going to run up the ladder and loot that. Come back down, run through to Rasmussen, which is right here. And then from RAS, generally just going to run through here, run all the way past the German, which is on the other side. I'll fast forward this section. Then you're going to arrive at the German tech store here. And inside again, I'll show you guys all the stuff here. All the stuff just spawns around on the top of these tables. And from here, if you guys still haven't filled yourself up, there's also the Ollie office. Um, you can either choose to go that way, which is usually a little bit more dangerous, but a bit quicker, or you can choose to go that way, uh, which goes through the back offices and it's a little bit safer, but uh, takes your, uh, your time a little bit longer. Takes a little bit longer time. That's what I meant to say. Uh, can't fucking talk today. <laughs> So, and then into the uh, idea offices. I think I said all the offices before, but into the idea offices. From here, they're going to sit all around on those up the back on the desk here. And then on the sides as we run through this part, up on these shelves that we can see the GM count and uh, that little bad boy there, stuff like that. I'll highlight them later. Alright guys, so really quickly here, we're just going to run you guys through the Texo spawns. Mainly, they're going to spawn around on all of the shelves, on some of the flat surfaces. But it's mainly on these big blue shelves uh, in a variety of different spots. So I'm just going to go through, highlight all those ones that you're going to be checking, and then we'll head up to Tech Light. Alrighty guys, then we're going to head up into Tech Light here. You're checking around on all of the shelves in here for Tetris's, uh, all the other kind of high-tech loot. But feel free to fill yourselves up on light bulbs and stuff like that as well. Particularly if you're a lower level player and you still need these for your hideout, they can be really, really valuable. Okay guys, so now that we've gone over all the different spawns, time to actually crack into the loot run. So we're loading up with a pistol, backpack, couple of extra mags, and then meds inside of our box. I also chucked a side QD rail within the box. That's just a restricted, so it kind of acts like a gamma container because I now have the kappa because I'm a sweaty uh, fucking nerd. From now on guys, we're just going to run through the runs. I'm going to highlight all the spots where we found stuff, died, and then uh, yeah, hopefully this video isn't like four hours long. Alrighty guys, so we are awaiting session start at the moment and we are going to be cracking into our very first raid in just a few seconds. So, first raid, let's start that timer guys. As you can see, it's counting down in the corner. 
and we spawn directly out the front of Ollie. So what we're going to be doing for this first run team, I'm actually going to run this through with a couple of fast forwards, but not a lot. And we're going to show you around the map and where uh, everything you're going to be kind of going for is. We're just going to run from this chat. We're not gonna... And there's two. Hello. <laughs> Okay, well, that didn't work out particularly great, guys. So we late spawned there, found a bunch of players, and um, you saw the results from that. So raid one, absolutely nothing out. Lost the pistol, lost the backpack, and we're stopping the timer at 58 minutes. Now, I'm actually going to switch off to the shotgun for now, chat. Not chat, guys. We're not on Twitch anymore, boys. We're on YouTube. Alright, nice. Everything into here. We're going to go through all of the gun parts and stuff at the end as well. But mainly, we're just going to offload all of this into there. And then we're going to sell it to traders and stuff at the end. We've got the M4, the shotgun, uh, that vest, bunch of random stuff. Uh, three Silent One G phones, which is pretty good, uh, and the military cable and the Helix. These are all pretty, uh, pretty good loot tier items. And so this stuff actually looks like it's been hit already. Um, it's one of the problems with loading late into raids and stuff, is that very, very often uh, some of this loot at least has been yoinked. Right, this little fucker here. Hello, buddy. What's your name? <laughs> Stealing all my loot, are you? Terrorist 15. You got in your pockets, mate. Wires and a relay. Not too bad. Let's see if he's missed anything, boys. Oh, look, there you go. GM count. Nice. We're actually going to head straight back uh, down to him after we've checked the Lytic spawns up here. That's why you bring a pistol, boys. Painkillers in here. Splint, no Lytic. I haven't actually seen that spawn there, but I've just been told that it does, so I've trusted the home brace. He didn't die, he ran. Oh shit, I thought he was dead. Nice. See, they get kind of confused when you're up close. And you can just kind of shoot them through stuff. But they're not very good at that kind of aspect of the... Uh... They suck at that aspect of the game, boys. Alright, guys. So we're just going to offload all this stuff here. Um, I'm going to get rid of the TT. Two AKs. Random helmet. Um, all of this stuff here. Just leave all that stuff in the rig there. Um, so you can see we're getting quite a bit of loot that's not actually tech stuff. Um... So we're going to be keeping that and all, all of the rigs and all the random stuff like that that we get out. Um, chuck the two of those in there. Just can't chuck that in because it's food. I want to drink that at the start of next round. We'll put the key into just a random slot there. PPX, that, Nixa. Got a ibuprofen. 
well and re-equip the pistol get rid of that and then we'll use our extra ammo to refill these mags here so we've got a good use out of the pistol on that raid boys um leave the painkillers there as well just we're starting off even on every single raid all right and then we're ready to go again just to uh the sort of central area so relays Faceters, all worth grabbing. Power supply unit, not really for the amount of space. We should be able to fill up on other stuff. Military cable, broken LCD. So this is a more consistent like loot spot, this one here. Um, so military cable, broken LCD. All that, that is maybe killer. You don't really want to fight him with a pistol. Although it's possible. Um, it's not very likely that you're going to win that one. But as you can see here, guys, now that we've got some better stuff, what we're going to do, we're going to sub this out. I think I dumped like three bullets out of that shit. It should be all right. Oh, one more over here. Okay. So yeah, don't be afraid to mag dump, guys. I was kind of just winging it there. Um, aiming in his general direction and trying to track. This thing kicks up quite a bit, this pistol. someone walking over to my right there. That'd be him. Takes us off if you want, but I'm not really interested in them for now. Oh, hello. That's a player. <laughs> well, rip boys. Alright, so out of this raid, guys, we've got a military cable, or two military cables, a gas and a relay, and a marked key. We also lost our IFAC, which is a little bit unfortunate, but um, I'm just going to replace that with another one there. You heal ourselves off that grizzly, then we just go down here, new pistol, new backpack, both mags, and we're good to go. Right, so, hard drive, ES lamp, bulb, Okay, oh, big, big boy server lag there. Right, let's chuck that in, chuck that in, chuck that in, just for now. What like Germany, dude? Grimly or whatever. Ooh, hello. Right, so, graphics card, light bulb. Shot from the other side, boys. Feels bad. Right, 1745. Stopping that one. Got a little bit of stuff in our uh, in our case there. Ran right about 250k for the graphics card, by the way. So that makes that run uh, completely worth it. It's the equivalent of finding two bitcoins. So easy, easy money. And they're probably gonna leave that stuff alone because they're fighting a bunch of other people there. But yeah, as you can see, a lot of players around that tech area. So into that right there, boys. We got out RAM, gas and and a graphics card. Just chucking those into there. We're gonna re-equip pistols and go back in. Alright boys, just spawned back into the next one, so we're going to start up that timer, 1743, and right, we spawned at the same side again, let's hit Ollie, check all that for all the tech loot, and then, you know the deal, on to the next ones. Uh, okay, um, this is an interesting little, uh, <laughs> well, um, okay. Not sure if that's servers or what that is, but that was weird. 
Very weird. <laughs> So we died in that one guys and we got the drill, broken LCD and $95 Rooney that yeah. Sweet, on to the next one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fucking got him. That's a fight killer, boys. So after all of that is done, guys, two million in profit, or well, just over two million actually, but a very, very, very good uh, set of runs there. We did die a couple of times, which is probably what knocked it down a little bit from the reserve run. Um, I still think currently reserve is number one and interchange is number two. One of the cool things about interchange though is you do have that potential uh, to actually get a lot more player kills and interchange is definitely more of a PvP focused map but uh, hitting these tech areas really really good way to earn yourself a little bit of money. Okay guys, so once again, my name is Freak. If you have liked this video, guys, make sure you go over and check out the live stream as well. I try to stream at least around about five times a week. It typically ends up being like every night that I'm free. Uh, so more like seven. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to comment down below and let me know. Also, hit the like button. And uh, obviously, if you want to see more of my face in the future, uh, subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys around. Peace out.